Hey everybody. So presented here for your consideration is yet another aftermarket package for the Mobius Models Jupiter 2 kit. This is a uh, really powerful one actually. This is basically a fusion core lighting kit, uh, but it's so much more. You'll be able to use this with at least several different kinds of models. It's designed to be modular, so what you don't need you can pull off and you can put different stuff on. And uh, this comes from Brad B over at Hobby Talk. This is actually a prototype here. So this is going to be a couple different installments over a few days or a week or so. Uh, basically as I run into any problems I'll hit them up with some emails or a phone call and then get back to you and show you how things are going. So this is not at this point an out of the box plug and play situation. As I say this is a prototype and he's currently designing uh, re or rather refining more and more better versions of it. Uh, so once I'm basically a guinea pig at this point to test out how things go, how simple they might be and you know, just basically try and uh, be the troubleshooter where I'm uh, pointing things out for him or the trouble into getter rather and he's the troubleshooter for it. So let's take a look at what's in the box. It's definitely fully packed. This is a standard $5 shipping box for the uh, post office system. Not only is this designed to handle lights, it will also uh, handle motors and pretty much anything electronic you can plug into electronics, this will electronically control. So it's a really phenomenally powerful board. Sorry about the camera hit there. And uh, there's going to be a lot of great stuff you can do with this. Here's something that has not been seen yet, and this is a USB cable uh, included here. This is another really, really nice touch. This is controlled by what's known in electronic circles as an Arduino board. It's basically a hobby kit kind of thing. And uh, one other really important thing I got to mention about this is that as of now Brad is not looking to uh, really make any money off of this kind of thing it's all going to be at cost uh, the designs are going to be free on Hobby Talk and I'll get the links to those as we go along and uh, that's really really great of him he's into this for the hobby of it if you want him to build a board I'm sure that he may charge you a reasonable fee but if you want to build it yourself you can do that all by yourself if you've got the skills so uh, there's a lot of stuff in here let me uh, pull it all out lay it out that's probably the Arduino board right there this is, looks really complicated but Arduino is really a hobbyist kind of thing and once you get a few basics down search YouTube for it too it's really spelt weird though R A R D-U-I-N-O, Arduino. At least that's how I'm pretty sure that I've heard it pronounced. So it looks like... Yeah, let me just uh, lay all this out and we'll go from there. Okay, so there is a pile of goodness right here is what we're looking at. I just read through the almost two pages of notes that <clears throat> came with the boards here couple familiar things. One, the uh, fusion core. This looks like the others that I've reviewed and pretty much that's going to be a standard thing. Big difference would be the controller boards here and in this case Brad also says that this uh, pin controller is going to be different on the next versions but otherwise it's essentially the same. One other note I should make before I go further is that I was calling this an Arduino setup in Brad's case, he's calling this a TCL Arduino, and Arduino overall, if my layman's understanding of it is really correct, is basically these little black boxes here allow you to program the board on the fly. By setting everything up with the USB cable, you can do a firmware update where you change the code entirely into something else if you want. <clears throat> and of course this USB will also allow you to charge the battery packs so uh, you plug this into your computer and you're really having a good time definitely if this is the sort of thing you're into so when I say TCL TLC there's the other one obviously usually that stands for tender loving care but in programming circles it's called the tickle 
uh, programming language. At least I think that's it. It could be different, but I'm going to call it the Tickleduino because that's a fun little name right there. But if it's wrong, I'll definitely be talking with Brad and he can correct me and I'll certainly make amends on all of that. This is the main board itself. Uh, reading the pages of notes he sent me, it sounds like there's a Tickleduino and a not Twickleduino. Uh, non Twick. <laughs> non Tickleduino. And that should be this one here, which has these motors attached to it. Pretty freaking cool. Obviously, if you're going to use the motors in the ship, and there are a lot of uses for motors in the ship, you'd need to uh, extend the cables on these, and that would be a simple splice is all you need to do. Just make sure all the colors go to the co right colors when you splice it back in, and then you can tuck this board anywhere it needs to. So this is definitely the main component here, and you can see that all these wires are attached to LEDs at the end. What this will allow you to do is plug in an entire another set of LEDs. Right now, the current firmware programming that he's written only supports just a few LEDs. However, the next version, and remember this is just a prototype for testing purposes, the next version will support basically about 15 LEDs on it, and each one of these pins is going to have a different blinking effect to it with a different rate. And again, if you get into it and you plug this into your computer and you know the programming code, you can change those blink rates on the fly. It's pretty freaking cool, if not outright astounding. This main board, however, <clears throat> is designed to control the fusion core here. This push button toggle switch will change between two LEDs on all the cardinal points flashing or four LEDs. The potentiometer here also known as a pot. You'd see it normally on uh, guitars, for example, for volume control, or even on your radio as well. Old style radios, I guess. But this will allow you to change the rate of the flashing, so go from slow to fast. And then this toggle switch here will actually control the direction that the lights are going in. Brad says that is not all this board is capable of. And you can definitely believe that. There's a lot more variety you can throw into your fusion core just by using this Duino board. Let's just call it that because that was getting a little uh, silly there with my pronunciations and mispronunciation. Pronunciations. So let's move those aside. And uh, obviously I think I mentioned the uh, USB power charger cable setup here which will also let you plug your computer into the model and change things on the fly if you're so inclined or if Brad releases some updates to his uh, software you can grab those pull those down straight from the net plug your model straight into it and all of a sudden you're upgraded the uh, motor board here I'm probably not going to be <clears throat> using this one immediately but uh, we'll definitely get to plugging it in and showing that they work from what I can guess either this is gonna plug straight into the power board or this is gonna plug into this as a daughter board I'm not quite sure on that yet uh, I'm definitely gonna have to call Brad for the next installment when we talk about this I'm looking at this more and more I think this is gonna be more of a uh, definitely several installments of notes as not only as I learn all of this here to show you how it goes but also as Brad changes things up. And uh, of course what we have here are some chargeable battery packs. So this is a really huge package. It's going to be an exceptional deal as far as the prices go. And uh, like I say, you can buy all these components yourself. The plans are over at Hobby Talk. And I'll try and dig up that link for you and definitely display it here in the uh, next video. So you can see that live. And... Uh, I'm pretty much sure that's it for the moment. I've really got to give Brad a call and talk about how all this goes together. There are no pictures included at this point for how things plug in. I'm sure that I could just kind of fiddle around and guess. However, I don't want to risk blowing any components out on this part. Uh, like I said, it's a prototype. It's not available yet, uh, but it will be soon and the changes that are made are definitely going to make this an exceptional, exceptional top-rate product. Pretty much for any model. If you've got the C57D from Polar Lights, 
you can use the uh, fusion core here with some different programming on it to light that up uh, pretty much any model whatsoever you don't need the fusion core you can get the uh, main Duino board and just plug your LEDs into that there are so many variety of options you can do with this it's phenomenal I can't say enough about how great this setup is going to be once it's actually properly applied to any modeling need you can imagine this is a really great service that Brad is providing for everybody and uh, you should definitely check it out look for uh, go over to hobbytalk.com go into the models forum or board rather and check around for Brad B and that's his username there and pretty much we'll go from there so we're coming up on 10 minutes here probably so let me cut this short and I'll catch you on the next installment thanks for watching see ya